Hello YouTube, this is Joseph from Stem Epicase. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. And we're going to start digging even deeper into benches and plots because a lot of the things that we do in the visit libraries, visualizations of uh, manipulation of certain variables uh, and related, relate them to plots and to visualizations of whatever we want to convey. So for this tutorial, we're going to be working more with matches, more with pseudo colors, show you what is available, show you how to do certain things so you are able to duplicate these things when you're doing your own visualizations in your own applications. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to open this program right here is a noise silo and once you open and, and you make it active what you're going to do is go you're going to add a pseudo color called point var and once you do that we can by double clicking on it you can open the pseudo color plot attributes window once here we're going to change to axis and here we're also going to change from 0.05 I'm going to change to 0.2 and we're also going to go to the data here and change from hot to kill white and what else am I doing here I think uh, we also need to scale point size by variable and i think i have everything here so just hit apply and now we draw and there it is it shows this cool little things with all of these uh, little things being created inside it could be a, a volume some type of a silo with some uh, molecules or gas molecules uh, bouncing against the walls and, and we're doing some maybe some can do some thermodynamic type of application we don't know it could be anything so now we're going to add another plot so you go out add to the color but instead of point bar this one is going to be hardy global and then same thing we're going to double click on it and we're going to go in the data we're going to go from fully opaque we're going to go reduce the opacity to 50 percent and we're going to hit apply and now we're going to draw and now you can see that it became transparent this can come very handy when you're doing certain visualizations and uh, you want to you know play around with the opacity they make it trans transparent and this is a lot of stuff that you can do okay so this is one option so i'm going to delete this and now i'm going to show you something else i'm going to show you we're going to be using the same uh, noise silo but in this case we're going to uh, do a match and then we're going to draw it and there is this nice looking black mesh but before that i went let's delete this one and let, let's create this pseudo color plot first and so you see the mesh being created on top of the colors and then go back and then add the mesh and then draw and now you see it but the, i wanted to show you how dark it gets so instead of having the black mesh with that color let's uh, change the color and instead of being the match color this is things that you can do when you run your applications let's do this one right here apply anything else that i need to change here 
I don't think so. Let's just do apply, and there you go. You get this nice color that is a lot more transparent, and it's not as dark, and you can see more in between. And you can see through the match, and you can see the colors on the other side. That's, uh, that's another thing that you can do. Um, another thing that I can do is uh, let's, uh, let's delete this one, delete this one, and let's open a multi curve 3D. It is not there, so we gotta go open and then go to up one directory, one directory, one directory. And then go into my visit directory. Continue. Class data. And then it's the multi. Curve 3D. And it's this one right here. And now. We're going to uh, create a field boundary plot. This is a different type of plot. And then mat one, draw. And this is this cool. Put it in a way that you can see it. And there you go. This is pretty nice. You can see everything there. And now, what we're going to do, going to open the uh, the window. And the same thing, you can change the opacity. There's three colors here, so you can see you got the red, the green, and the blue. But you can change the opacity of each one. And that way you can see the other colors uh, better represented. And that way apply. As you can see, now you start seeing the internal areas of inside. You can also put a wireframe on it and apply. And you can see this nice wireframe. You can also do a draw internal surfaces, create the, the line width, make it a lot thicker, and then apply. It didn't like that. So, uh, let's go to three, maybe it'll take that one, then draw. No, I didn't like that one either. So, does someone want me to change that? And uh, what else can we do? Point, uh, actually, let's do the color table. And let's do uh, Inferno, and then Invert, and then Draw. And which one is not liking? Rear engine service and features, I just filter. So it's not liking this means. And the opacity. Let's go, let's stop with this one and then hit apply and see if it takes it. And that one has no problem. And now, hide, show. And uh, if you want to um, make changes, you can also do invert, apply, and then draw. You can see the structures of it, of, of the multi-curve 3D. And let's do something else I want to do. What else can we do? What else can we do? We can do color multiple. Then you have to go back to this one, then draw. And which one am I doing here? Multiple. Do the one, do the two, do the three. Go back to the ones, wireframe. Then no, apply to that one. And there you go. This is a nice one because you can see all of 
part of these structures you can also um, when you go fast inverting it you can see a lot better the transparency and the opacity but this uh this is also working with matches it gives you more you know more ideas of what what you can do uh, especially if you're doing presentations and or you're sharing your uh, visualization of functions or uh, uh, matches of uh, parts that you have created and you want to visualize it using the visit library this is one way that you can do it so this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time with another great tutorial. Take care.